Winter Olympics are underway in Beijing, but there's a lack of snow in the air and on the ground. Brandon Lewis from our Verify team looks into the use of artificial snow during the games. At the Winter Olympics, nearly half of the sports required the use of snow. After all, what's skiing without the feeling of fresh powder? Chinese government officials are touting the snow this year, especially since nearly all of it was artificially created. That's led to numerous headlines blasting China for its reliance on snowmaking equipment to host the games. So let's verify. Are the Beijing Winter Olympics relying almost entirely on artificial snow? Our sources are the International Ski Federation, a study on artificial snow by the Sport Ecology Group, and Noah Mollich, an associate professor of geography at the University of Colorado Boulder, who's an expert in snow hydrology. Using fake snow is extremely common in winter sports. 95% of ski resorts use it, and the International Ski Federation explicitly permits its use in competitions, like the Olympics. In most cases, fake snow supplements the real stuff, like during the 1980 games in Lake Placid, New York, which were the first Olympics to use it. Although Mollich and the Sport Ecology Group say the reliance on fake snow is increasing, making up more than 80% of the snow used in the Sochi and Pyeongchang games, and now nearly 100% in Beijing. This is the first time the Olympics have been held in a place that is entirely reliant on artificial snow. So, it's true. The Beijing Winter Olympics is relying almost entirely on artificial snow. Malvich says downhill events like alpine skiing will have a more consistent and faster course, but aerial sports like the halfpipe could be more hazardous to athletes who lose control. Artificial snow tends to be a lot more dense, a lot icier, a lot harder, more like concrete once it's formed on the ground. Whereas natural snow can be more like a powdery snow, lighter and fluffier. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And if there's something you'd like us to verify near or far, our team looks all over the place, right? Verify at 12newsnow.com, the place to email, or of course you can direct message us on social media.